everyone. Welcome here to the Learn to Crochet Day today. Um, I hope I, you all had a good week. How are you all doing this week? Um, so today we are going to, like I said in the previous post, we're going to be um, learning how to do the fox. Um, but before we begin, I did just want to, you all can see here, that we have some t-shirts. Super excited about this. Um, thanks to Emily Kidd over at Blackbird Community for getting... Um, getting us some shirts so we have this shirt it's in a like a heather gray shirt but now uh, i'm really excited about this one but the one i'm really super excited about is this one this one right here the tie-dyed one is my absolute favorite um for some reason this year i've just been really into tie-dye so this one, I was super excited when this one came out and looks as good as it does. So we've got both those shirts. If you want one, if you want a shirt, um, we can get them in different colors or we can do the tie-dye too if you would like. Um, we can do the outline like this or um, Emily is also going to try to print it um, with the actual logo with the colors and everything on it as well. So if you want one, just let me know the size. And if you need to know different colors and like the style of the shirt, I can get that to you as well. Just let me know. So without any more hesitation, we'll go ahead and get started with our fox. So what we're going to need is you're going to need a size E or a 3.5 millimeter hook. If my, if it'll focus, there we go. Size E or 3.5 millimeter hook. You're going to need black yarn or tan, like a light brown. You're going to need orange, and you're also going to need either white or a cream-colored yarn. All of my yarn are, are the Red Heart brand, hashtag not sponsored, hashtag if you want to sponsor me, you can. Um, but I use the Red Heart brand just because it's one of my favorite brands to use. It's what I've been using um, ever since I've been crocheting. So we're going to go ahead and get started with your brown, or in my case, the black yarn. You're going to take it, and what we're going to do is to get started, we're going to make a magic ring. So we're going to hold the yarn in the crease, the first crease of your pinky with your thumb. And take your other three fingers, wrap the yarn around, coming up, crossing that yarn to make a cross. Then you're going to bring it back and slip it in there between your thumb and your pinky again. So here you've crisscrossed, and if you turn your hand over, they're parallel to each other. So to make the magic ring, you're going to take your hook, go underneath the first strand, hook and grab the second strand. You're going to pull it. When you get clear of that first strand, you're actually going to twist it while it's on your hook. And now you're going to go back and grab the strand that's in the back again and pull through the loop that you just made to create the magic ring. So we've done that. So now what we're going to do is with the magic ring, we're going to single crochet into this ring here. So we're just going to go into the ring, yarn over, grab our yarn, pull through both loops. So there's one, two, three. four, five, and six. And now that you have the six in the ring, this little tail here at the beginning that we have, we're actually just gonna pull it and that's gonna close our little, our ring here. So if you'll just watch, you just pull it and it should just close it up just like that. Magic which is why it's called the magic ring. Wait, there we go. See, now we've got a flat ring. You're just gonna pull it again, make it nice and tight. And there you have it. So now what we're gonna do, is I know the black yarn is a little hard to see, but you're gonna go into the first stitch that you did. And then we're going to do a single crochet into the first stitch increase into the next one single crochet and just we're going to repeat that pattern so give me just one moment we'll go ahead and get started with that so we've already went into the first stitch here we're going to do our single crochet so do the single crochet in the first stitch 
In the second stitch, we're going to do an increase. So we're just going to do two single crochets in there. So two and three in the same one. The next stitch, there's going to be one for four. The next stitch is going to be two in the same one. Five and six. One in the next one for seven. And then two in the next one for eight and nine. So that completes that one. So now for uh, round three, you're going to go into the, the next one, next stitch or the first stitch. You're going to single crochet in that one for one. Go into the next one, do a single crochet for two. And then the next one, you're going to do an increase again, which is two single crochet in the same one. So three, four. One in the next for five. One in the next for six. And then two in the next for seven and eight. Now one in the next for nine. One in the next for ten. And then two in the last one for 11 and 12. But we're not going to finish this one off. Like in previous videos, we've got to switch to our orange color. So we're not going to complete this one with the black. We're going to go over here and grab our orange yarn. We're going to loop it around our finger. Make a loop. Put it on our hook and then pull through with the orange to complete that stitch. So now we're just going to take our scissors and with this black yarn we're just going to fasten off with the black. Now that we have our orange yarn on here, what we're going to do is for the next two rounds we're just going to single crochet in each stitch across. So we're going to go into the next one, just do single crochets all around the all around, you should have 12 single crochets. So one. And I'm just making sure to tuck my tails behind so I can work over them. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and twelve. So that was the first one with our orange color. Okay, and then you can see it's kind of starting to uh, roll up on you. We're just going to take our fingers and just push that middle out. We're actually working on the nose right now, so there we go. So again, you're going to be working on it. It's kind of going to make like a, a little bowl. We're just going to reverse that and pop that out there. So that was that first row with orange. So now for the second row, we're going to do the same thing. Uh, single crochets all the way across. So we're just going to do the first orange here for one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, Eight, nine, ten, eleven, and twelve. So now we've completed the second row with the orange. And what we're going to do now is we're going to continue on with the third round with the orange. So now what we're gonna do 
11 single crochets. So just going around completing 11. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, Eight, and I'm gonna unwind some more yarn here. So there's eight, nine, ten, eleven, and now we're gonna do an increase, which is two single crochet in the same stitch. So we're just gonna go into that next stitch for twelve and thirteen. So that completes that round. So on to the next one. For these next two rounds. We're going to do 13 single crochets again, like we did before, just going in all the way around and single crocheting in each one. So that was two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 10, 11, 12, and 13. So that was the first row of single crochets with the orange for 13. And so now we're going to do, uh, we're going to do that again. We're going to do the second row of 13 single crochets. So we'll just keep going all the way around for 13. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and I gotta unwind some more yarn. Eleven, twelve and 13. So now what we're going to do in the next round we're going to single crochet six, do an increase which is two single crochets in the same stitch and then single crochet in six for a total of 14. So just go in the next one. One, two, three, four, five and six. We're going to do an increase in the next one which is two single crochet in the same one so seven and eight and then we're going to single into the last six for a total of 14. So nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, and fourteen. So now that we've completed that row, we're going to go on to the next one. And these next two rows, again, we're going to do a single crochet all the way around for two rows. So you should have 14 single crochets for the next two rounds. So it's going to go into the next one. One, two, three, four, five, six, Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, and fourteen. So again, we're just going to do that again, going all the way around single crochet for a total of fourteen. So just go in this next one. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, 
13 and 14. Now at this point we do still have this black tail from where we did the magic ring. I'm just going to go in here and snip him off and get him out of the way. So we did the two rounds where we went around in rounds to do uh, the single 14 single crochets. Now for the next one we are going to do 13 single crochets and then an increase again two single crochets in the same stitch for a total of 15 single crochets. So just going to go in the next one. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 13, sorry, I got ahead of myself. So we did 13, so now this next one, we're going to increase, which is two single crochets in the same one. So we're just gonna go 14 and 15. So now the last two rounds of the nose, again, we're just doing single crochets all the way around for a total of 15 single crochets, and we're gonna do that for two rounds. So we're just gonna go on to the next one, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, 13, 14, and 15. That was that first round of single crochets all the way around. I'm just gonna pull some more yarn out to do the last round the same way. All right, we're gonna go again, just do 15 single crochets. And do one single crochet and it's each stitch around for a total of 15. So we're gonna go in the next one, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Now I'm gonna stop here. As y'all can see, there's these things have been showing up a lot lately. That's just because I've had this yarn and I've just been adding to it, so I'll just tie it together. Um, so that's why those those bumps, but those can be hidden. It's no big deal. So we stopped at eight. I'm just gonna go nine. I just wanted to let you all know so you all could have an idea of what that was. Ten. Eleven. Twelve. Thirteen. Fourteen. And fifteen. Last one. So now that we've finished our nose we're just going to do a chain we're going to cut off the orange yarn but we're going to leave a long tail for sewing it so we're just going to cut it off and with the hooks the yarn stone hook we're just going to pull that through and pull it real tight so it doesn't come loose okay so now what we're going to do is you have the note the nose here You've got the opening here that you can stick your finger down in. We're just going to fold that closed. Okay, we're just going to fold that down. And then, you know, your tail's over here. Actually, we'll flip it this way so the tail can be over here. You're going to go into this first stitch with the hook right next to the tail. I'm going to go through that one into the middle here. But then you want to go through the one on the back, too. So you're going through both of them. You're gonna wrap your yarn around your hook and you're gonna pull it through. What we're doing is we're actually sewing the open piece close. So again, just gonna go into the next one, making sure to go through the first, the front, and the back. We're gonna hook our yarn and just pull through, sewing that closed. So we're just gonna go ahead 
finish that up going through the front and the back pulling the yarn through we're almost finished sometimes you may have to shove the hook through the stitches depending on how tight you crochet And then once we get to the end here, again, this little edge piece, corner piece, you just want to make sure you get that one too. Okay. So then just pull it real nice and tight. So there is the nose that we're going to have. So the nose is actually going to lay flat on the, the head, and then it'll have the nose flat here. We'll sew it around, around. So there is the nose for our fox. And see, as you can see with the, the picture here, We've already done the nose, and we're actually just, when we get finished with the the head, we'll actually just sew that flat nose right there to it. Okay, so I know we didn't get too far with the fox tonight, um, but make sure to come back next week. Next week, we're going to try to work on the inner ears as well as the outer ears and trying to get all those put together. Uh, so make sure, you know, you come back next week. Follow us um, on progress for the fox. I did post the link to the pattern for the fox. If you want to go on there and print that off. And you can go in ahead and work ahead if you want to. If you do, um, you know, post a picture of your progress as you go. Using the hashtag, learn to crochet, crochet, hashtag crochet by James. So that way I can see your progress and see how far you all have gotten the amazing work that you all do. So with that, we're just going to sign off for tonight. You all be safe, stay well, be kind, have a great weekend, and have a great holiday. And as always, happy crocheting.